Welcome back everyone. Just wanted to give you guys a few quick updates, show you some pickups and that sort of thing. So first of all I apologize, I, have, I know I haven't been making as many videos recently, but I was out of town for a little while and then of course we had the hurricane here. Uh, we came out pretty well, um, no real damage to speak of, and of course we have the, let's see, not sure if you can see that, but we've had a little bit of snow recently. So we've got that going on now, but uh, regardless, if some of you are waiting on the next part of my treasure overview, uh, no need to be worried. I've got all of the gameplay recorded and mostly edited for the next two parts of that, so those should be coming out soon. Uh, next, I want to show you guys just a couple of pickups that I got recently. I haven't picked up too much lately, uh, but first is this PCB, and as you can see, this is in just really extraordinary condition and I'll give you a little hint right there of what it is now the artwork is uh, is copied but it's uh, they're actually good copies so it's not such a big deal but this is Strikers 1945 2 really fantastic shoot 'em up from Psycho there's some more of the copied artwork and I believe this is the uh, you know the little move insert I can figure out how to open it so there you go you gotta love the uh, the flying pancake so also uh, in addition to Strikers 1945-2 I got a couple of Naomi games I got them turned over for a couple of reasons uh, one to you know to <laughs> hold you in suspense um, and I and I'll I have another reason, but I'll I'll just get right to it. Um, first of all, this one is very standard uh, horizontal game here. This is Giga Wing Two. Uh, by standard, I mean standardly available. Um, I actually got this from a guy in Brooklyn. We'll go ahead and go put it back in its home. Also, you can see I kind of straightened up uh, a little bit over here, so it doesn't look like quite as big of a mess back here. So I'll go ahead and get that put in. All right, and that one came with the the motherboard there. So now these next two are a little unusual, and I'll show you what they are first, and then some of you will probably immediately know why these are unusual. Uh, first, we have Ikaruga. Uh, these are both again uh, shoot 'em ups and under defeat. Now what is odd about these is that normally these two titles come on the the GD ROMs. So these are not normally available as uh, cart software. So what I actually have here um, essentially it's a bootleg. Uh, both of them are bootlegs but these uh, this one has uh, actually a uh, very different PCB than is normally on the back of these uh, Na Naomi carts here and what it is is you know the the GD-ROM system works uh, in such a way that the 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 GD-ROM drive isn't accessed the entire you know the entire time you're playing the game it's only accessed once and that's when you turn the machine on and then it loads everything into into memory so essentially what uh, this guy has done is he's loaded all all of the stuff that would normally be loaded into to the memory and the dim board uh, into a cart itself um, and then uh, that way you don't have to worry about the loading times or having the GD-ROM system which I don't have so um, that actually saved me some money and these carts actually were <laughs> way way cheaper than the games uh, normally would cost on the GD-ROM so that was nice also um, they didn't come with the motherboard but I found one that uh, supposedly was working but not really functioning uh, with the game that uh, the gentleman had and the problem was that uh, the BIOS was one of the older ones and apparently the game he was using I guess maybe didn't work with it so I was looking around doing some research on that Sorry about all the creaking. Um, and the the guy that sold me these carts actually just offered to ship the latest version of 
the Japanese BIOS, so uh, no no problems there. Works fine. Uh, also, the guy in Brooklyn sold me both of the the uh, Capcom I/O boards, which is the best way to interface with a, a JAMA setup for for the Naomi system. So, actually, why don't we here? Let's I'll go ahead and turn these on. Now, the other thing I should mention is uh, this Naomi board over here. Actually, both of them, uh, in some ways, don't seem to like the six-in-one switchers. So, uh, what I've done instead is, is uh, you know, I've got this here, and I can all I have to do is just take this off and move it up here. I don't know if I can put this on with one hand. All right, hold on, just a second. <laughs> okay. So now that I have this on, that should be no problem. Go ahead and turn that on. And let's see. And we'll go ahead and turn on our other machine over here. Maybe. Key will go in. Now, this Naomi system over here. For some reason, it's okay with the six uh, six and one switcher uh, if Ikaruga is in, but not if uh, Under Defeat is in. So I haven't completely dealt with that just yet, but um, shouldn't be a huge problem. So, of course, there you have the Capcom logo and Takumi, one of my favorite game makers. I really wish they were still making games, but unfortunately, they are not. Okay, so I've turned the light down a little bit, and we're still waiting uh, on this to load. You can see, uh, as before, GigaWing 2 is going pretty well. So while this is loading, I actually wanted to bring up something that had I've sort of run across a few times, and I'm just kind of curious as to what, what you guys think about this. Uh, but I keep running across tool-assisted plays on YouTube. So people will, will do these tool-assisted runs and... and from my understanding, I've never done it myself, but from what I understand, it allows for uh, you know save states, uh, running things you know at 20 frames per second instead of 60 or something of that nature, and you know just generally, uh, I guess they would say offering tools to help you you know play the game better or whatever. Uh, but I guess. My my issue with it is that people use it to make these sort of super runs or whatever. Uh, and, you know, back in the old day, let's see, you know, they, we would have things like this. Um, I don't know if you can see that with the lights down, but, you know, these super play DVDs and stuff like that, a lot of the, uh, you know, the shoot 'em ups have those. And those, I think, are cool, but people are actually playing those in real time. And I guess maybe I just don't understand why you would want to do a, you know, a tool-assisted play. I, ju I just, I don't understand why you would even want to play the game anymore. Um, and, I don't know, I get kind of irritated just seeing them on YouTube all the time. Uh, so yeah, let, let me know what you guys think about it. It, you know, it just, it also, I don't know, maybe it's part of like a larger uh, sort of gaming culture issue because a lot of times I, I think that a lot of the younger gamers too don't uh, not in all cases of course but I think uh, just the culture is changing so that we aren't as persistent at solving problems in games as we used to be uh, most of us even me you know when you get stuck you go online you look up some sort of a walkthrough or you go to YouTube and look for a video something of that nature and you know I think back in the old days that sort of thing just wasn't really available so we we didn't do it and uh, you know if you couldn't figure out how to get any further in the game you know you could of course ask your friends you'd have friends over watching closely trying to figure things out or uh, so, sometimes you'd have that one kid in the neighborhood that could make it further in a game than anyone else that he wouldn't tell everyone uh, how he did it uh, but, you know, things like that, and I, I kind of enjoyed those aspects of gaming back in the old days, just having to really struggle through and figure some things out, and especially for more, 
uh, you know, reflex-based or arcade-style uh, games. I just, I, I think it sort of takes the fun out of the game uh, to do tool-assisted. So here's uh, Ikaruga here. I'll stop rambling about uh, my hatred for tool-assisted plays. Uh, but yeah, let me let me know what you guys think about that. Um, if you guys, if, you know, maybe I'm missing the point of the tool-assisted plays, or uh, you know, I don't know, but. Um, I don't get it. So, alright, I'll put it in normal. I am not going to be able to play this with one hand, but, especially my left hand, but we'll see. You can at least kind of take a look at a little bit of it. Looks great on this monitor. Um, yeah. Trying to play it through the camera is not a whole lot of fun here. And of course I can't get back far enough to really show it all that well, but anyway, you guys kind of get the point. Um, and I can't play this game to save my life. So, uh, regardless, there it is uh, in all its glory. Um, and of course, Gigawing, one of my, or Gigawing 2, rather, uh, one of my favorites of all time. So yeah, I just want to show you guys some pickups, uh, give you some updates on everything. Stay tuned, the, the new treasure stuff is coming. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the tool-assisted stuff. I just, uh, I don't get it. So uh, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you next time.